Welcome back to Meds Made Easy, my name is Tarun. Today we're gonna to be talking about Alendronate, also known as Fosamax. It's a tablet you take once a week, any day you want, but just be consistent with it, and it's used for osteoporosis. Uh, and what is osteoporosis? So it is, it is as, as you get older, as part of the aging process, your bones begin to break down and get weaker, um, which is why people have can have easily broken bones when they get older. It's because your body needs calcium, and what it does is it breaks down your bones for calcium, because that's what your bones are. The primary component of your bones is, a lot of it is it's calcium. Uh, it seems like a very weird thing for your body to do, considering your body is a, has a, is a self-healing mechanism, but that's just kind of what happens with the aging process. Um, generally, before you're on Alendronate, you are probably on calcium supplements, right? If you've been going to your doctor regularly, at some age, whenever they, they do your bone density test, they figure out, oh, you're starting to get a little low, they'll start putting you on calcium supplements. When that's not good enough, then you go to Fosamax, you go to Alendronate. And so, um, and so then that preserves the calcium in your body, right? So it prevents your body from breaking down the bones for calcium. So uh, if the calcium supplements aren't enough, then you use this drug to prevent your body from doing that. Um, it has a very specific way you take it. You, once you take it, you have to take it 30 minutes before a meal, preferably breakfast, on an empty stomach with a full glass of water, and you have to stay upright. It's weird. But that, that, that's how you got to take this medication. Don't lay down. That, that'll kind of ruin everything. Um, now, let's see here, if you have any renal issues, you do need to make dosage adjustments to this medication. Really, that, that's, that's not really information for you, that's information for your doctor. So make sure you let your doctor know if you're on a bunch of other medications. Uh, if you have liver issues, there's not a problem with this medication. Um, you do need to be, generally 80-90% of the population, you do need to be on calcium and vitamin D supplements while you're on this medication. That it kind of works synergistically. Um, to, to kind of prevent osteoporosis. Now the reason you need vitamin D is because vitamin D helps digest and helps your body absorb the calcium in your body. Your body doesn't absorb calcium very well. We're, we're very inefficient at it. And even then, you can only really absorb and digest 600 milligrams of calcium in one, in one sitting. So we have to split it up. So for women over 51 and for men over 71, you generally take 1200 milligrams of calcium a day and you generally split what i have my patients do is i have them split it up 600 for, uh, after breakfast and 600 after dinner um, and then it's only a thousand milligrams per day for men between 50 and 70. men always need a little bit less women always need more calcium um, and as far as vitamin d goes you do 800 to a thousand units a day men and women regardless of age. Now you could take the vitamin D all in one sitting in the morning, that one doesn't matter, the calcium does. Um, or you can take uh, low doses of vitamin D, so you could do 400 in the morning with the calcium and 400 at night or 500 in the morning, 500 at night, and that just kind of helps digest uh, the calcium better. I like to say take it after food and if you just want to take the vitamin D in the morning, that's fine. Um, it's, just, it's just one less pill you got to take later on in the day. Um, but just take it after food because there's probably some vitamin D in your food too, so that's going to help uh, absorb the calcium. Here's a list of side effects here. It's, it's a very easy, easy medication. You don't see a lot of problems with this. I've never really ever seen problems with this. Um, you're looking for headache, constipation, um, diarrhea, and then if you start to get really, really bad cramps, that's one thing to watch out for. Call your doctor, let them let know that you, you're having this problem. Um, and other than that, I think that's it, guys. So hit subscribe, let us know how we're doing with the channel, and we'll see you next time on Men's Made Easy.